A side, Alpha, Alpha, Alpha. We're getting around. It's been consistent. Got him. There we go. Yes, I found it. Mm -hmm. 251 million! Wait, you one shot? Yes, sir. Yep. Okay. Part in the stovepipe manhole, manhole, manhunt mission, uh, where we find out the spoilers. So I'll turn off now if you don't want spoilers. If you're new to the game, story spoilers coming right up. But as soon as we do this bit, we will be able uh, to do a bit of a demo on how this gun can be useful in some situations and how it can be not so useful in other situations. Wally, this is YouTube. You're gonna get me demonetized. Chill. Marauder class quadcopter detected. Agent, drone incoming. Get to cover. Everyone hates these drones. Hostile striker drone detected. All right, so we're gonna use the gun I've got on there, which is the Famas. We're gonna build some stats because <laughs> lol strikers. But the reason why I'm going to show you some stacks is what it will do is really when we get to the uh, the dogs in just this, this very second. As you, you can kind of see what's already happening though. We are absolutely chunking away at this bad boy. Let's just heal ourselves up. The problem is as well, you can't use it with uh, a shield. So watch this now. Boom. They just ab. Whoops, there's another quadcopter. I forgot about that. I didn't thought. Yeah, should we get the stack on it? Bye. Uh, this dog here now, so for a full stack of stacks on him, switch to the other side, he is dead. Okay. Oh, we missed one shot on that one. Right. And what you'll see in this next section is just how easy it is take down dogs with the ravenous you know black tusk missions with the ravenous are really really good and it obviously has other uses as well now we use it to help us one shot things in the raid you know you can one shot bosses with tactics uh with this gun as well which makes it really really awesome Whoa. System back online. I don't know how much more of this I'm going to actually do. You know, I'm showing you an example. We'll just do this section here. We'll get rid of these. It's so great doing that little one tap. Were they close enough to get the MP? No. Anyway, so let's hop out of here now and we'll go to another regular mission. And what I really want to show you then now is how it kind of performs in heroic versus kind of, you know, an assault rifle or the Ouroboros or, or something like that as well. Because that's really what you're, you're always going to think about. You know, you think, oh, it's an exotic, it's exclusive in the game. Does that mean it's absolutely awesome? The Ouroboros is awesome. The Eagle Burrow was once awesome. The Regulus is amazing. One of the best guns in the game so we're gonna go heroic and i'm gonna leave i'm not gonna leave it on four directives because if i leave it on four directives i already know it's going to be rough i'll take cool skills off ah no let's let's make it rough let's make it rough so we'll run in we'll get a we'll do exactly the same we'll get a few stacks and then we will uh switch to it and we'll kind of see how it how it kind of first you could build a rifle damage, you could go a high-end rifle as well. Uh, but again, I'll show you why I really don't think that is a, a good idea. 
and you probably do better just just running an assault rifle or the M1A or you know do something along the lines of that instead of this gun. Yeah, I've spoiled the uh, the video already by saying that. Sneak it. The problem is as well, like, unlike with the Black Tusk and harder enemies, these guys are dead before. I mean, if I was using any other gun right now, he, he would have been dead already. And if you, one thing to notice here is, you know, it's a rifle, so why don't, why can't you use a shield? Well, you can, but I can't then swap shoulders with it. It's a, a huge issue because part of the talent with the gun is you need to be able to swap shoulders. So I'm, I'm obviously I'm left very exposed. Now I could run, uh, you know, a decoy. I could run. You know something else to mitigate the damage and you know and things like that and that would also be fine but the gun although it has it's extremely really really good uses you know it's really good in black tusk missions like i showed you it's really good in the raid you know it, we are just left far too exposed you know in a game where we really don't use too much cover so what i'll do let's nip back to the base of operations and I'll just show you what I, what it was I was using. Um, we'll have a look at the actual stats of the... Oh, hang on. Got to do this bit. There we go. So we'll head back. I'll show you what I was using. But I think the tip you really need to take from this is that this gun is awesome. You know, uh, we can one-shot bosses in the raid with it. We can do really good things against the Black Tusk with it. Tanks, dogs and things like that but aside from that i mean it that is really where it gets left so you can see here weapon damage rifle damage crit damage and i've got damage tag out of cover uh the, you know this this is what everybody gets there's no change in these it's an older exotic uh you're unable to change them uh but you get this talent on trigger pull fire both barrels at once and you can see it has both barrels uh when Fired from the right shoulder, it hits at an offensive primer, which was the red ones that you saw. And defensive primers when fired from the left shoulder, which was the blue ones that you saw. Now, that would kind of make sense that you think, oh, red's offensive and blue's defensive. And it kind of is, but there's also something else that you need to think about when it comes to that. When detonated, each offensive primer deals 100% weapon damage, while each defensive primer grants 4% bonus armor and 10% amplified damage to armor plates which is why it's so good that you can stack all the way into the blue when we're doing you know a raid boss switch to the red uh you know and it gives you that bonus amplified damage which you know you'll see me many a time against uh Pfizer where we run upstairs we go against the Chunga, we stack all the way into the blue, one shot into the red, switch guns, Achilles pulls, shoot, and he dies because we get all the amplified damage from having the bonus armor with the from the defensive side. So you can see here that there is, you know, swings and roundabouts here, but you're not going to be able to do that, you know, in a heroic mission. You, you saw me then that chances are most of the time in a heroic mission, things were dead before I even got a chance to switch shoulders. So... Although this thing is absolutely brilliant and I would definitely recommend everybody having one of these in their inventory, you're not going to use it day to day. You're going to use it for when you want to do fancy things in the raid. You're going to use it again in very, you know, hard content. Uh, the primer effectiveness is doubled at 10 stacks, which is, you know, why it's worth taking it to, to 10 stacks in some situations. But then other times you just won't have time. The mods have crit chance reload, crit damage and stability nice set of mods and if you're wondering what i was running i was just running a strikers build oh no strikers again but if you was doing this you know that heroic mission uh strikers is just the go-to choice the damage bonus and then being able to use the ravenous to one pop the dogs from the explosion 
it just makes absolute sense to be able to get through that mission so so quick uh stats wise i still stacked it up to 55 percent and 132 percent crit damage i just changed a few things around uh, so that i could you know get some good stacks on the, the famas but i only had 45 percent crit chance on the ravenous you know you've got to kind of pick a gun you could roll some of these into chance if you wanted to to get close to 60 but then you'd be over on the famas so a couple of things for you to think about there but it depends you know do you really want to build a build just for black tusk missions you probably don't you know i have a build for one popping the first boss here you go and the second boss in iron horse and that's you know that's this build here that will let me you know use do the one tap on him and that's what i use but for this for black tusk swap a few things around and this is absolutely fine you know coyote's mask with the crit chance mod group or chess piece with chance chance and damage with obliterate my favorite talent then we've got strikers with weapon damage, crit chance, crit damage, gloves, weapon damage, crit, uh, sorry, weapon damage and critical hit damage. Then we've got knee pads, weapon damage, crit damage. And then we have got the holster with weapon damage, critical hit damage. I just roll that to critical hit chance and I would be 1% over cap. I'll probably then switch uh, something out to put me down to about 56%. I think, you know, 56, 57, 58, anywhere there's absolutely fine for this. Like I said, it's not something you're going to be using too often. 55% crit chance, around 132% crit damage, and 75% headshot damage. It's really nice. And, you know, definitely a gun that I would definitely add to your repertoire. And like I said, if you need help with it and you're on PC, come and give me a shout when I am live on Twitch. Thank you for watching, Agents. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.